The one thing that I get a lot in the messages, in the comments, in the DMs is this thing right here where it's, you know, someone coming to me and saying, you motivate me so much. You inspire me. I, I really get motivated by your content and it makes me motivated to code. And motivation is great. But what I really want to tell you guys and make you aware of is that motivation isn't actually what you're looking for. See, motivation is great in certain instances and it's great in small bursts. We, ha we always watch that YouTube video, the inspirational YouTube video, or see the person on Instagram where they say and do things that are very motivational. And I'm not knocking that. I love that kind of stuff. I do that stuff personally here on Twitter, on YouTube, on Instagram, right? I do that stuff. But what I want to say is that motivation isn't what you're looking for. It doesn't last. Motivation is temporary, right? There, look back at some of the times that you've been motivated and see how far that actually got you, right? Like you can be motivated to go do something. And for this example, let's say you're motivated to code. How long did that motivation last for you to code? You probably coded for a good amount of time, but after that, how long did it take for you to become unmotivated to code? My guess is that very short time of motivation ran out fairly quickly and that you became unmotivated to code and you were looking for another hit of motivation. And the real thing that you're looking for is discipline. I follow a lot of people and through this journey, I've kind of figured it out where, you know, I was that kind of person too, where I looked for motivation in other people. I always watched those videos. I always looked up to the guys that I looked up to and I was really looking for motivation, but then there were times where I just like got stuck and I was just like, I can't keep looking for motivation. And there's a person that I look up to very, very highly. And I watch his stuff all the time. And he goes by the name of Jocko Willink. And I'm sure you guys know of him. The motto he goes by is discipline equals freedom. And I stand by that 100%. Discipline equals freedom. I'll say it one more time. Discipline equals freedom freedom. Again, motivation only lasts a certain amount of time when you're disciplined enough to go do something every single day. If not every day, 99% of the time you're doing what you want to be doing. It compounds over time way more than the person that wants to be motivated. Let's take one person and let's use coding as an example. He find he or she finds something that's motivating in terms of content, right? They watch that video. They look at that guy on Instagram. They become motivated and they code for like six hours because hey, they were like, yo, I'm motivated right now. I'm ready to to go like let me code i want to build projects i want to do these things this thing that thing i want to learn everything right eventually that motivation runs out and they figure out that they've gone beyond their threshold and they can't really sustain all the things that they said that they wanted to do while they were motivated they realize that it's not attainable and they need to be slower but then what happens you become unmotivated you don't want to be doing these things because you figure out that hey i can't really do this you know i need to become motivated again and they go back again and they go back again and again and again and again and they try to they always use little hits of dopamine and that hit of motivation from that content in order Order to become motivated but how long is it going to take you how long are you going to rely on something else in order for you to actually go do something and now let's take the guy or the girl to the left where they're coding all the time but they use discipline they set a schedule. They say, okay, for a week, every day, I'm gonna be coding at least an hour. I'll take maybe one day out of that week to take a break. Discipline, right? They fit time in their schedule every day for an hour to code. Doesn't matter what it is. They set a timer, they code for an hour. Once that timer's up, they're done. That person over here that relies on motivation could probably code for six hours. Just an example. Obviously that's a little overkill, but you know, when you're motivated, you feel some type of way and you just wanna keep going. We've all been there, right? When we're feeling motivated, Motivated. And I just really want to keep going because I just like I'm feeling that kick right now. How fast is that person going to burn out? Whereas this other person is only coding for an hour over the long term. This person is not going to be going as far as this person over here because they discipline themselves enough to know and understand the thresholds and say, OK, I'm going to be doing this for an only an hour. I'm going to instill that habit. This person has to rely on motivation. If they feel unmotivated, nothing is going to happen and they're going to stagnate in a certain position in their life where they may not be moving forward in their lives or their career. So needless to say, I think that discipline is going to be one thing that you're going to be looking for more so than the motivation. Again, I'm not saying motivation is not what you're looking for or isn't good. I'm saying that discipline is way more important and sh should take a precedence in your day to day lives. And in order to get discipline, you need to build habits. And I'm sure you all have heard this simple habits like making your bed in the morning. Every single day when you get up, just make the bed, right? You need no motivation to make your bed. There's nothing of it. You get a small win in the day, but every time you wake up, you just make the bed real quick. It's not like you want to do it. No one wants to make their bed, but you build the habit and you become disciplined enough to actually make the bed. 
that compounds over time. You just instinctively second nature want to go make your bed and done. What's next? What's the what's next in the day to do? Build those small habits and that can go for coding, right? Like I just said, figure out your schedule and time chunk coding into that in order to fit. So take your week, take each day, see what each day looks like. I understand that in this COVID times that your days may look wide open, very closed, very difficult to time chunk depending on your situation. But you also have to understand that it requires a certain level of discipline and just will in order to do this thing. If you really want to become a dev, and I'm sure most of you guys that are watching this video are either self-taught or really, really want to make a career switch or just are motivated and want to become developers, discipline and instilling that is what you need to do in order to actually become a dev. And if you really want this thing, you need to have that discipline. Like it's so important, right? Look at your days, look at your weeks and say, okay, I can fit 30 minutes of coding here, 30 minute co minutes of coding there, and just keep moving on forward. And over time, again, like I said, it just compounds and you build skills over time. It doesn't happen overnight. Six hours of coding is way less productive than an hour a day. You know what I mean? Less is more. Less is more. And I know you guys have heard that less is more. So build those habits. I think it's very important. Find things that are small, implement them in your lives over time and just keep compounding over that and do that with coding, right? Figure out what you can do in the day. Don't try to push yourselves over your thresholds. Only you understand where your threshold is at. No one else really does. Hopefully that was helpful to you guys. Discipline equals freedom. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit me down in the comments. If you guys want to talk about more about discipline and motivation, definitely hit me down there. I'm open to questions questions or comments. I really want to talk to you guys more in the comment section. So please do hit me there. And again, if you guys like this video, just hit the like button and subscribe. It would genuinely help me out, but I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.